Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. Jeff, it feels a lot better this evening than it did earlier today. It was a warm one. Uh, in fact, temperatures have just been hot for the last few days. They are going to be a little toasty again tomorrow, but then some changes are coming for the rest of the week. Okay. Those changes involve some rain All right. and some tropical weather coming in as well. Let's get you the latest here on what we expect to be our next name system. It's not quite at that level yet. Uh, not organized enough to get a name, but National Hurricane Center continued to provide us with updates on this developing system, which right now is located in the northwestern Caribbean. This is the island of Cuba. This is the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico and this big body of water. That's the Gulf of Mexico. And that is where this is going to find itself as it continues to slowly develop here over the next 12 to 24 hours. The expectation is, is that perhaps by morning uh, this will become a tropical storm. Helene would be the name. So check in with meteorologist Grace Anello first thing tomorrow morning. We will get another couple updates overnight tonight from the National Hurricane Center and she'll let you know if this has indeed formed into a tropical storm. Uh, once that happens and it does start to get a little bit better organized, it does appear that conditions will be favorable for strengthening. So this is forecast has to be a hurricane heading into Wednesday. Wednesday, 8 o'clock in the evening in the southeastern Gulf, 85 mile per hour winds. From there, the track will take it towards the state of Florida. So that's not something that's really deviated uh, since the Hurricane Center has started tracking this today. And all the latest information that we have continuing to suggest a landfall somewhere in the Florida Panhandle on Thursday. Uh, maybe close to Category 3 strength as it nears land. And then, of course, as it moves inland, it will start that weekend process. The main track, if you just draw the center line, goes through Georgia, but keep in mind the grade area between the white lines, all possible where it could go. So eastern Alabama and even here in the northern part of the state is still in play. Uh, by the time it reaches us, though, it will be significantly weaker. And as we hit Friday, this is expected to kind of fall apart over parts of the Ohio River Valley. Now, when we talk about these tropical systems and they move inland, three main things that we look for, wind, rain, and severe weather potential. And as it stands right now, based on the track of this, based on the expected intensity when it nears the Tennessee Valley, we're looking at winds 15 to 25 sustained, but gusting above 30 Thursday into Friday is when we'll get these primary impacts. Three to five inches of rainfall through the end of the week, locally higher amounts possible. And right now, based on the track, it looks like any severe weather potential, and by that we mean any spin up tornado threat, will likely be off to our east. So that does not appear to be a concern for us, but obviously that track will be critical and we'll continue to provide you the updates as we get them. Otherwise, between now and when that system arrives, we are watching a cold front located back to our west in Arkansas this evening. As that nears us the next couple days, we are going to see an uptick in shower and thunderstorm activity back here across North Alabama and Southern Middle Tennessee. Right now, though, none of that that we're tracking on Way 31 Triple Doppler and not expecting anything overnight tonight. A few patches of clouds out there. That'll be about it heading into tomorrow morning. We'll wake up on your Tuesday on a dry note. We take you towards midday tomorrow. A little bit more cloud cover out there. And then for the late afternoon hours, as that cold front gets a little closer, likely seeing some shower and thunderstorm activity developing northwest Alabama, parts of southern middle Tennessee, mostly areas to the west of the I-65 corridor. Uh, most of that will be afternoon heat driven, so as we cool tomorrow evening, a lot of that will go away. We head into Wednesday morning, though, waking up to perhaps some spots of rainfall and additional wet weather will be possible into Wednesday afternoon before tapering off Wednesday evening. And then on Thursday, here we go, impacts from that tropical system likely means some steadier and maybe some heavier rain coming on in. Low end severe weather risk for us tomorrow across uh, the northern part of the state as well as southern portions of middle Tennessee. Gusty wind if we get a stronger thunderstorm would be the main threat. Tonight into tomorrow morning we'll eventually work our way back to around the 70 degree mark. Tomorrow will be another warm to borderline hot day climbing into the 80s through the morning hours and we will likely approach that 90 degree mark tomorrow afternoon. May hit it in a few spots but then that will be the last, perhaps, that we see of that sort of heat for a while. Here's your Way 31 Storm Tracker 10 day forecast. Shower and thunderstorm chances Tuesday, Wednesday. That will become widespread rainfall with that tropical system passing through Thursday into Friday of this week, bringing our temperatures down into the 70s as we close out the work week. Rain chances do start to dip a little over the weekend, may not completely go away, but uh, certainly not looking like a washout at this point. And for those wondering about 
the game in Tuscaloosa on Saturday. I hear there's a big game coming up. Uh, right now, it looks like all the impacts from that tropical system will be long gone from there, so that won't be an issue. Next week, not bad for us heading into October with temperatures right around that 80-degree mark. All right, you've heard it from the Chief. Yeah. Jeff, thank you. You bet.